Hi, my name is Keith Cooper of North Flight Images. This is a quick update video, particularly for all the people who have downloaded my Epson ET 8550, 8500, they're the same, uh, printer profiles to use. Um, I have finally got round to, on the main review on the North Flight Images site, producing a proper table of all the profiles, papers that I have tested, and the names of the paper, uh, the names of the profiles. And I know several people have asked me about the naming conventions, etc., etc. So anyway, if you have downloaded some of my ICC profiles, have a look at that if there's any, uh, any uncertainties over which papers I've covered. Um, if you think of papers I should try and can persuade the suppliers of those papers to send me a box, A3+, uh, then I will happily make profiles for it. Anyway, that's it there. Have a look at those um, if you've got the profiles. If you're wondering why I'm talking about profiles for the 8550, they make a phenomenal difference to its print quality. In fact, they're one of the secrets of them is being able to use the pigment and dye-based inks together in various ways, but I've covered that in lots of videos. The other thing I wanted to mention was that the experimental profiles I made for Epson Archival Matte which we used thousands of patches uh, differently to the way I normally make profiles. Quite a lot more effort goes into making them. Those profiles work absolutely superbly for printing black and white on Epson archival mat. Now, that's a relatively thinnish paper, it's nice paper, brightish paper, but it produces really good black and white. Incidentally, they also work well for color, but these profiles, I've gone into them to make sure that they produce a good black and white output because I'm always looking for ways of printing black and white. So the other bit to know is, is that I'm going to take that approach and that I have three papers that I'm going to make some of my experimental profiles for. Maybe a week or two till they're done because I have got to finish off now we've moved home my Canon Pro 310 review, mainly the written review, which is the key to it all, and then produce a video to supplement that. That's next week's task, as it were. But I have these three papers. One of them, uh, they're, all, they're three photo speed papers this time. Incidentally, photo speed papers are available in the US and they've got a, a European distributor as well. So they're a little bit more available. Um, you know, I'll cover more of that when I actually look at the profiles I've made and see how well. First of all, I'm going to print some targets. But anyway, I have got a 300 gram smooth cotton. This is one I tested the other day. In fact, this is the one I showed on the David Hockney print uh, where I put the paper in the wrong way. Um, that's, that's a 300 cotton. Now, because the 8550, some of them can produce marks on thicker papers, I've also got a cotton a smooth 215 gram art paper that's the high white smooth paper and i've also got a 280 platinum matte now that's a matte paper very much like matte photographic papers uh, although it's 280 it's quite a thin hard paper and i'm hoping doesn't show any marks whatsoever on the 8550 so i'm going to be making profiles and testing these specific papers on the 8550. Um, I may well, since I've got them, do make a few more profiles for this, the Pro 310. But um, obviously, it's a bit easier on the uh, 8550 because of the ink tanks. Um, and I got lots of ink, whereas I do have to be careful with the amount of ink I'm using on this in case I want to do any more specific testing for the review. But anyway, there you have it. If you've downloaded the profiles before, and you downloaded them a while ago, by all means, drop me an email if you've made a, I only asked for a coffee donation for them. If you've made a donation in the past and you haven't got the newer profiles, drop me an email. Um, if you want the whole lot, then you know, if you feel they're worth it, please, a, a donation is appreciated. But otherwise, if you've had some before, feel free, just drop me an email and reference the fact that I've sent you some. Because I sent out a lot and I honestly cannot remember everyone I've sent them to and my email system is not that well organised. But there you go. That's just some 8550 stuff, which is hopefully of interest to people who want to get that extra bit of quality out of the 8550, which it will do if you're careful with it. 
Anyway, questions as ever welcome. All the usual, like and subscribe, please. Please tell people about the channel and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.